Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna cover the Bun Speed Brew Classic. And while this coffee maker is pretty straightforward and easy to use, there are a couple of important points I wanna bring up. So let's get right into it. First, I'm gonna bring up the price. Uh, at, at the time I record this, which is late February, 2022, the price is $109. Once again, like I say on this channel, prices do fluctuate, but I just wanna give that at time of filming price. The height of the unit is 14.8 inches. The width, I measured at 7.1, and the depth is 13.8 inches. Okay, now we're gonna go into the initial setup, and this is the real important part that, you know, when I took it out of the box, they stressed this. Because this isn't like your usual coffee maker, like your traditional Mr. Coffee brand or Black & Decker, where you would just put the water in, um, put the coffee grinds in, and flip a switch. This does not operate that way. The mechanics are a little different. And we're gonna go through this and you'll understand why. Hope you guys can see that. That's the setup guide. And we'll be going through this real quickly. I'll explain these switches also at the end of the demonstration. So when you take it out of the box, you put it on your counter. Even though this doesn't say step number one, do not plug it in. It says important, do not plug in until step five. So leave it unplugged. Oh, yeah, mine came with these, these filters. I don't know if every model is going to come with them, but mine did. So that's pretty neat. <clears throat> You're going to be using basket style filters for this, by the way. So step number one, make sure the brew basket is secured inside the funnel rails. Step number two, fill carafe with water and pour into the coffee maker. And this is where you will be pouring the water. It's not gonna make sense now, but this, that little plunger mechanism, that's your on off switch. But that will make sense in just a second. All right, so we fill that up. And step number three, place caref on the funnel, close lid, Wait four minutes while internal tank fills. I don't know how well you guys could hear that. But what it was doing is just took it from this reservoir and put it in this reservoir. Okay, so it's been four minutes. Step number four, repeat steps two and three until water flows from funnel. So you're just basically gonna fill up the carafe and pour it in again. A full pot. Okay, so when I close this lid, water should start pouring into the carafe. It took about 30 seconds to do so, but, and by the way, this is cold water. That's gonna fill up, and then we're gonna empty it. Step number five, now we plug in the coffee maker. And step number six, last step, press power switch located on the side, wait 15 minutes for water and tank to heat. And that's this switch right here on the side of the unit. By the way, for folks who don't know, zero, that means off, and the one, that means on. So you're just gonna flip that on into the on position and we're gonna wait 15 minutes. So while we wait for that to heat up, I'm just gonna put in the coffee grinds. So I'm gonna take the one of the filter baskets it came with, I'm gonna put it in the brew basket. We're gonna do 10 tablespoons for a full pot. Okay, it's been a little bit more than 15 minutes, more like 25 minutes, and we're ready to use it. So we did the initial setup process and the water in the main heating tank is now ready to go. I can feel it's a little warm on the side. Just warm to the touch, not hot. And we're gonna make a full 10 cup pot. So I'm gonna explain how this is gonna work. First, we're gonna pour in 10 cups of cold water. And very important, before you close that lid, make sure the carafe is underneath the funnel, ready to go. Because the minute you close this, 
it's gonna start brewing. So remember when I said that's sort of like your on off switch? Well, when you close this lid, it's gonna push that down. The lever is gonna release the cold water into the tank. That's gonna replace the hot water. That's gonna force the hot water up and brew into your coffee pot. Hope I explained that okay. And I also wanna time this. It says the fastest tent cup home coffee maker. It's supposed to take around four minutes to brew, so we're gonna time that and see. So here we go. And just like that, it comes out. The minute you close that lid. And this on off switch, that's for your plate warmer. We're gonna turn that on. It's just about done, and that took a little under four minutes. So figure four minutes once it stops dripping. I'm gonna also do a temperature check. That's pretty much how you use the unit, guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you just wanna hang around for a temperature and a strength check, well, um, I'll appreciate that. Let's see, how hot does it get? You see, come on, push 160 now. I like it in the 165 range. My cure egg gets it up to that. All right, 160, that's not bad. I was hoping for it to be a little hotter. I let it sit 25 minutes, hot plate was on. I let that sit for five minutes before I started doing this part just to let it warm up. 160, that's fair. As many of you know, if you follow this channel, I always put the milk in just to give you guys an idea of strength, since you cannot taste it or smell it. I try to be the judge of that for everyone. Let's see. You know, I would say that's very decent. Take another sip. Yeah, it's nice and strong. The temperature's good too. I like it a little hotter, but it's far from cold. I mean, that's definitely acceptable. So, I thank you guys for watching. If you came this far, I'm going to end the video now. I hope it was interesting. I hope it was helpful for those who wanted to understand how to operate the unit or for those who are interested in purchasing this. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Once again, I thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one.